everybody! Welcome back to another awesome day, another awesome vlog. Today is time for a Lakers update, and I brought this guy along with me. Lakers suck. <laughs> they have been struggling. They are doing so terrible. The last two games, they should have won them both. They played the Pelicans. Anthony Davis wasn't even playing. Their best player. If you can't beat the Memphis Grizzlies, <laughs> How are you ever going to beat the Warriors or the Nuggets? It's Play just not going to happen. Playoffs are not going to happen this year. Nope. So the Lakers are absolutely out of the playoffs because they keep losing games. They're so far down. There's no chance they have to make it up high enough. And then all of the other teams would have to just completely stop playing. And even then they'd be out right away within the first game or two. You need at least 40 something wins to get to the playoffs. What do the Lakers have? 29. <laughs> How many games are left? 24, I believe, after last, or two nights or ago. Less. Or less, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> so their next game is Wednesday, February 27th. Where do you go, Lakers? They're back home, but they're playing the Pelicans again. The Pelicans who just whipped them without their star player. The Pelicans have been playing worse than the Lakers this season. The Pelicans duped the Lakers with that trade talk and everything. They blew did. them out of the water. Made the Lakers lose three or so games in a row because of all of them worrying if they were going to be a Laker or not the next day. Like Alonzo Ball and... And Kuzma. Kuzma and then they had no idea what team they'd be playing for every day. Exactly. I mean, the Lakers made it very clear that they were willing to trade any of their players except LeBron, which made all of the players feel like LeBron was the only one worth fighting for. And, Rebl and LeBron wasn't even playing. He was no. injured. Well, and also LeBron, now that he's in LA, he has all of these other things going on. He has been in the studio recording, they keep saying. He has a new show. I mean, LeBron seems to be focusing, unfortunately, on anything except basketball. Give me $50 million and move me to Hollywood and see what happens to me. <laughs> He's lost his mind, and yes. unfortunately, the Lakers have suffered for it. And exactly as he said, with all the talk for the, tr the possible trade deal, it has really, really brought the Lakers down. And all of these young players that have great potential are really, really struggling to get back in the game. We did end up getting two players in the trade. Go. It's not Magic Johnson's fault. And we were down on uh, Luke Walton, the coach there, for a little bit. But it's not his fault either. Nope. We got two players in an actual trade. And one of them is great. I'm actually really, really happy with the trade for Reggie Bullock. We traded um, Zuba, or no. We Are you a professional <laughs> basketball player? Try to make a free throw, would you? Just try. <laughs> it seems like it would be easy. I mean, that's like the easiest shot to make, and that's what they are not making at this point. They're missing their free throws. And if they could make those, we would be winning most of these games. But they're not. And, like I was saying, the one trade that was actually worthwhile was for Reggie Bullock. We traded Svi Mikhailu, and Reggie Bullock is an amazing player. He's fitting in really well. Mike Muscala, I don't know what that trade was all about. We lost two good players, Zubak and Beasley. Both of those players were decent and could come in and help when we were down. Call me a fair-weathered fan if you must, <laughs> but the Lakers, oh my god. Gosh, get it together, guys. Maybe next year. Hopefully they can get some people over the summer, but oh my gosh. I hope so, and I hope they don't regret trading away Zubak and Beasley, both of which could come in and help when some of the players were getting tired. But at this point, we've seen Mike Muscala maybe two minutes total since the trade, which seems ridiculous to me. And in the game against the Grizzlies, which we lost and never should have, he didn't make any baskets, only one. You know something I could do at my age? You know how to save time on the clock, they throw it in, they let it roll about halfway huh. up to almost the center court before they pick up the ball? His pet peeve. Why wouldn't somebody like Ingram just ignore that with his back to it for a second and then turn around and dive and get the ball, would ya? Yep. 
That is one of his biggest pet peeves. Oh Especially God. when they're down and the ball is just rolling, 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 and the players are right there and they're just twiddling their thumbs, letting it go. That and the turnovers. The turnovers are killing them as well. They constantly turn over the ball. And part of the problem is they think that they're this professional basketball player, which they should, basketball team, which they should be, and they try to do these fancy passes that 90% of the time they throw away and give the ball to the other team. They're not Lakers Showtime. No. Even I was a kid, I played high school through, uh, Oh, I played high school. That's good. I played basketball through grade school, um, club teams, and through high school, but then I never grew more than six feet, and I wasn't a spud web quality guy, so I didn't play basketball in college. But I'll tell you, if there was a loose ball, I was going to get it. Why don't they go after the ball? They're afraid to scrape their elbow or something. Something like that. But they're gonna have to fight harder. We sit on the couch and we tell them what they should be doing and we feel like we want it more than they do. They have to want it and they don't right now. For them to have lost the two games that they just lost to the Pelicans and the Grizzlies was absolutely ridiculous and never should have happened. And now their next game is against the Pelicans as well. Who knows, if Anthony Davis is playing, they have absolutely no chance. Anthony Davis isn't going to play. He's not. He's another guy with too much money and he's yep. too, and he just likes himself way too much. Yep, well, at the game, during the game that they, they just played, the announcers actually said that Anthony Davis made a statement that he's not playing for the rest of the season because he doesn't have to. So he's just going to sit on the bench. Don't these people want to play basketball? Dollar dollars, dollar dollars. <laughs> Well, give me $50 million and move me to Los Angeles and see what happens to me. I'll have a TV show <laughs> and I'll be running a mile. I won't be playing basketball anymore. And you'll be in the studio writing and recording yeah. music. Up, up, up in, in my, my studio, studio. studio. <laughs> oh my gosh. So as you can see, we're completely disappointed in the Lakers. We have been fighting for them all season. We've watched every game. We haven't missed a play. We sit on the couch and we cheer for them and we call out defense. We tell them to make a shot. They're not happy until they're 10 points down. Yep. Then they'll start playing. That has been what has happened this last season. And every time, as soon as they get 10 points down, they start playing hard. But now they have to make up 10 points and then to keep the lead, it just isn't happening. Cut this video, cut. Thank you for watching our video. It's making me upset. <laughs> Poor Lakers. I need a crying towel. I throw in the crying towel. <laughs> well, hopefully the Lakers will be back next year. We're gonna be probably cheering for the Golden State Warriors in the finals because they're amazing. Wow, someone that can shoot a free throw. Every single time. Ooh. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. Hey, you know, I know something. Even James Harden can foul out of a game and score 30 points. It's true. How many 30 point games has he had in a row? A lot. A lot. A lot. I think he has the record. Yeah. All right. Bye. Bye. I'm, I'm done. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe.